What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live, and we're here with yet another episode of Jimmy Scopes. If you're not familiar with what I've been doing on Instagram Live lately, I have a brand new show. It's a regular segment that we've been doing twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. We call it Jimmy Rants because I get to take some topic within the world of health, and uh, generally it's about ketogenic diets and some aspect of it, and we rant about it. And so we uh, we do these live in the morning and in the afternoons, Eastern Time on Instagram. So go follow me at Living Low Carb Man on Instagram, and then you can watch the replay for 24 hours there. But what we do from there is we take the video and upload it to YouTube. And again, all of those are housed at JimmyRants.com. Takes you right to the YouTube channel, and then. Coming very soon, we'll have a podcast that will take the best of the best of all of these different uh, rants that I do. So, today's rant is one that was instigated because I read an article this morning. You guys know, you see all those articles that come out about keto. I want to say this one was on the Today Show, and they had some mumbo jumbo um, dietitian, registered dietitian, on the Today Show talking about keto. All right, let's see what an RD has to say about keto. Gee, I wonder what they'll say. And so it was a lot of negativity, obviously, but one thing that she said stood out to me was this whole idea of a reason why you should not do keto is because it's hard to go out with your friends to a party, to be with your family during the holidays like is about to happen in the upcoming months. Um, it's just too hard to be in these social situations that that's a reason why you shouldn't do keto. Can I tell you how absolutely incredibly insane that is? That a reason why you don't pursue something that would give you health, especially coming out of the mouth of someone who's supposed to be about helping people in their nutritional health. How stupid can you be to say that you shouldn't eat keto just because it's hard to do it in social situations? And so this whole notion of, well, because you can't socialize with your friends eating all that crappy garbage, therefore, keto's horrible. That's stupid. Come on. At the end of the day, you're making better choices for your health. You could do one of two things, uh, one of three things, actually, when you go out with your friends, when you're at some dinner party, when you're something. You can, one, choose to fast. Now, that'll get you ostracized probably as much as trying to pick out keto foods. Um, but you could fast and you could just say, you know, I've already eaten. I'm not really hungry. And hopefully people drop it and don't criticize you for not eating. Number two, you could choose the best possible foods that you can. And we'll get into that more here in a second. And then number three, you could just say, you know what? I'm with my friends. I'm going to choose to make whatever choices you decide to make that may not exactly be right on plan with your ketogenic diet. So fasting is very easy. Uh, and I'll definitely talk about more in a future rant all about fasting. But let's zoom in on number two. Number two is making the best keto choices that you can. And people are like, well, no restaurants have any keto-friendly foods. It's so hard. I don't understand why they can't make keto choices. Guess what, guys? They do have keto choices. When you go to a restaurant... Pretty much every single restaurant, even the Olive Garden, has three elements that make you successful on keto. You ready for them? Number one, they have a protein source. So you can get your choice of whatever protein you can find. Whether that's chicken, beef, um, whatever they have. And try to get them in their plainest state. Because obviously a lot of these places like to marinate uh, different things in, in various, perhaps, sugary types of sauces. So be careful of that. But you can choose a really good source of protein. And I would encourage you to try to find the fattier cuts of protein and not the lean meats like a chicken breast. 
if you want to be keto, that's kind of what you need to do. Now, yeah, you could add fat to the chicken breast and make it a little less uh, impactful with the with the protein, but you're trying to make better choices. And so, again, you do the best you can with the options you have for your protein choice. Then number two, you can add in to that appropriate vegetables. Unless you're carnivore, you can eat green leafy vegetables. And most places that I've been to, they number one have salad. Even if it's just iceberg lettuce salad, they have salad. So be picky about that. You can tell them to leave off the croutons, leave off any ingredients that might be carby. Um, I usually ask if they will add bacon to it. And that's another way to add more fat to uh, to your vegetables. And then as far as non-starchy vegetables, you could ask for green beans, which a lot of places have now. You can also get broccoli, cauliflower, or sometimes they have like a veggie mix. And just ask them what's in the veggie mix. And a lot of times it's broccoli, cauliflower, and or squash. And so all of those things are perfectly fine on a ketogenic diet. Then the last element when you're out to eat, and if you're just joining us, we're talking about hand, how to handle uh, eating keto in various social situations. So I'm, I'm talking about if you're out with your friends and you want to order off the menu, one of the things I love to do is, um, is ask for butter. And so most places are now starting to carry real whole uh, food type of, of fats, and that includes butter. Um, and you can even bring your own fat so that you don't have to worry about, oh, I wonder if they have fat or not. You could bring your own uh, little packets. I know the F-bomb people, they have coconut uh, packets, coconut oil packets, um, and MCT oil that you could drizzle on top of your salad, those kinds of things. Um, but that's kind of how you do it. And it doesn't need to be this difficult, oh my gosh, I'm on keto, therefore I must eat my low carb, mother protein, high fat, or I will die on the spot. And people make a big to do about it. And at the end of the day, it's real food, guys. So if it's real whole foods, why are we making this such a big deal? Most places can accommodate you. And I'll tell you, um, I was visiting my mom and sister earlier this year, and we went out to eat at some restaurant like Longhorns or something, and they had an appetizer on their menu. I'm, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was, but it was like all this keto friendly stuff except for one ingredient. And so I asked the lady, Hey, instead of, uh, Oh, 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 I know what it was. It was this cheese dip that they had and they had all of this, uh, chips all around it. So you could dip the chips in it and it was a cheese, but the cheese dip was fabulous. And so I was like, can you bring us some slices of like zucchini and squash um, and other non-starchy vegetables that we can dip it in. That was the most glorious appetizer I think I've ever had in my entire life because there was a restaurant willing to give us something that actually cost them a little more money than the chips. The chips are dirt cheap for them to buy, and yet they brought us whole sliced vegetables, um, and it was great. It was an awesome, it's an awesome example of what I'm trying to share with you guys here today is it's not this inevitability of, well, because options are harder to choose when you're keto, therefore you shouldn't do keto. No, just find what you can. Now, we have a whole nother dynamic to talk about here, and that's with the upcoming holidays. You've got Thanksgiving and Christmas, and people freak out about this as if we don't know in November it's Thanksgiving and December it's Christmas and all the things that happen in the in-between time with office parties and invited to this party and that party and this, and everybody's got the Christmas cookies and they've got all the crappy garbage everywhere, right? We know that comes every single year. So why are we freaking out about it again? I just don't get that. So if you're keto, those holidays aren't off limits to you. Again, you've got the three choices. If you're at some social situation, you can fast. You can choose the best possible keto choices there are. Or you can choose that this is a meal that you're going to be less than keto. And you'll get right back on plan again the next day. Okay? We don't need to stress about this. We don't need to make a big to-do about it. 
At the end of the day, you make the choice that's right for you. And if you know you're not in a good place in your health right now, perhaps fasting and telling people you've already eaten is the way to go. If you're not in a good place in your health right now, maybe choosing the best possible choices that you can uh, on keto that make make it keto, um, maybe that's what you need to do. And then if you're not, uh, or if you're still hungry when you get home, eat more when you get home. That's how you do that. Or if you choose, you know what? I've been really good. I'm doing very well in my keto lifestyle and I'm going to choose to do this less than optimal um, food choices at this party, um, then then that's what you choose to do. So at a party, uh, a lot of times you'll see all the crap, but if you can, if you can kind of circumnavigate around some of the things that are there, you'll find some really nice things that you can have. Most parties tend to have some sort of a salad. So again, you can bring your own little salad dressings. I know the Primal Kitchen people have a really good uh, avocado oil-based salad dressings. You can bring your own MCT oil to drizzle on top of it as well to get a little more fat. You can choose meatballs. Um, not all the meatballs at these kind of uh, festive events necessarily have sugar in them. But again, I wouldn't fret about that. Oh my gosh, this has 0.25 grams of sugar in it. I'm going to die tomorrow if I eat this. Stop it. Just stop it. Make those good choices. Uh, during the holidays, you've got ham. That's a great one. It's a little leaner meat, but it's still a real whole food. Ham is great. Turkey, again, a leaner meat, but it's really great uh, as an option for people on keto. And all you're really not doing is partaking in mostly the sugary, crappy garbage desserts. Okay, So that's where you can offer to the host of the party you know what? Can I make a dessert to bring with me? What host of a party would turn down your invitation to bring your own homemade, low-carb, ketogenic, friendly dessert, right? So again, I think the message I want to make loud and clear with this whole Jimmy rants today about how to handle eating keto and socializing is don't make it a big deal. Just Stick with your plan. And if anybody asks you, you know, why aren't you eating the the cookies? And you could you could be snarky back to them and go, why are you eating those cookies? Uh, you could just say, you know what? I'm trying to uh, make better choices in my health. Uh, and sometimes they'll say, well, it's, it's the holidays. Let yourself go, sweetie. Life's too short. Well, it's going to be a whole lot shorter if you keep eating that crap is what I want to say. Um, but let let them ask their questions. You stick to your guns. You know why you're doing keto. You have very specific reasons, whether it's weight loss or various health gains that you're looking to have. Just because it's the holidays does not mean you need to take a vacation from your ketogenic lifestyle. Unless you like pain, unless you like trying to come back to this in January, kicking and screaming because all the cravings and all of the... Uh, hunger and and health decline that happens when you go off plan during the holidays because just let yourself go. Don't do that. And even in the day-to-day, -day, like you go to a birthday party, you hang out with friends, all of the things I've been talking about here still apply. Make the best choices that you can and stick with those choices or fast and tell them you already ate. Or if you choose to make this your moment off plan, you're consciously doing that and you happily do it. And then the next day you get right back on plan again. All right. I want to see what you guys have to say. So we're going to try to get this off of the control thing. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in guys. Thanks for being here. This was a topic that I know is very prescient with so many people looking at the holidays coming up. Uh, keto neogenesis. Hello. Uh, travels with butter or ghee. And also pink Himalayan sea salt and real stevia. See, you're a planned keto dieter is a successful one. And you are exemplifying exactly what I'm talking about here today. You plan ahead. You're ready. Whatever the situation, you've got things in your arsenal to help you be successful. All right, Kimberly Jackson Simmons, I planned our Thanksgiving and Christmas menus just yesterday. Totally keto. I found cookies for the kids I can do together and carrying on our family traditions. It's all about choices. And here's the thing, guys. Just like three years ago, 
there was hardly any cookbooks uh, for ketogenic diets. Three years ago was 2015. That's the year that the ketogenic cookbook came out, the book I did with Maria Emmerich. That was pretty much it. There was no other resources. And now here in 2018, as we're going into 2019, you have your choice of so many books. And most of them have really great holiday type of recipes where you can make your own keto-friendly stuffing for Thanksgiving. You can have cranberry sauce that's keto-friendly. You've got all these desserts in these recipe books. Go find one or two or 10 and find recipes to cook for your family. You have no excuse to just give in to all of the crappy garbage. Oh, well, it's the holidays and everybody should celebrate. We don't, we're not on a diet during the holidays. Well, right. You're not on a diet. You're on a live it. So start living. Uh, most of my family is health conscious, quote unquote. That means I can have all the turkey skin I want. <laughs> so, so yeah, so you're going to have some of that too. Oh, oh, what about all that fat? So yeah, we talked about this quite a bit in Jimmy Rants and we'll talk more about that as well. Kat says, last Thanksgiving, I was in charge of the dessert table. All of them were keto desserts, ice cream, pecan pie, layered cake, cupcakes. And guess what? My desserts were all gone before the regular stuff. And Kat, thank you for that because this is a great lesson, guys. Why do we eat the crappy garbage during the holidays, during special events? Why do we do it? Because it's there, right? So if it's just there and it tastes delicious and people are none the wiser that they're not getting all the crap, right? So that's exactly what Kat experienced during her uh, experience of doing the dessert table. She put out good tasting, delicious, uh, and I want to be invited to that this year, Kat, uh, but really delicious desserts. And because they were delicious, nobody batted an eye. Oh no, I can't have that. That's keto. I'll kill over from the fat tomorrow. Come on. Come on. Bringing something introduces others to healthier foods. Bullock in 2018, you're exactly right. And see what's happened for me and Christine and our family is we'll start making some keto friendly something. I'll, I'll tell you a perfect example of this. So about four years ago, four or five years ago, Christine and I uh, go home to see her family. We try to rotate around all the different families, but we were at her family's for Christmas. Maybe it was Thanksgiving. It was one of the holidays. And I said, hey, instead of mashed potatoes, Christine and I would like to make our, our fancy schmancy uh, mashed cauliflower. So we get in there and we boil the cauliflower and we're draining the water out of the the, the cauliflower before we mash it. And then we start mashing it and we add in the heavy cream and we add in garlic salt and we add in bacon and sour cream and all this stuff. And then we start whipping it really good and whip it good um, and make it into this beautiful, luscious, thick mashed potatoes looking um, dish. And we served it to her brother and we didn't tell him it was cauliflower. <laughs> her brother has nothing to do with nutrition and we served it to him and he's like, wow, these mashed potatoes are really good. Christine just started smirking and he's like, what? He says uh, to her brother, uh, she says to her brother, um, that's mashed cauliflower. Well, I want this every Thanksgiving from now on. So now he's a fan of mashed cauliflower. And you've now taken this crappy garbage, high carb, starchy food that he always ate just because it was there. And you've replaced it with a dish that has about 95% car less carbohydrates than the potato one. I mean, how easy was that to do? Easy. Uh, T. West Hughes, uh, hate going off plan. It's amazing what a difference it makes. I even bring some of my own food to family dinners and that's the way to do it. And yeah, if you go off plan and especially the people that say, well, I'm going to take off from Thanksgiving to Christmas and I'll get it back on plan leading up to the new year and make it my new year's resolution to take off the 25, 30 pounds I put on during the holidays. Well, guess what? It gets harder and it's not just the weight it gets harder to get motivated to get back on plan. When you've been off for that long, which is a good little five or six weeks off plan, 
Don't do that to yourself, guys. You know when you started keto how hard it was to be on it and start it and to get going and then to start seeing results and then start feeling better. You got to start all over again January 1st, 2019. Don't do that to yourself. I uh, love taking the turkey carcass home for bone broth. Yes, makes great bone broth. Uh, let's see here. All right, guys, looks like that is it for this Jimmy Rance. Thanks for your interaction with this here today, talking all about how to handle eating keto when you're socializing. And we got big time socializing coming up here with the holidays coming the next couple of months. So don't be deterred. You got this. You got strategies now. Follow these strategies, implement them. And guess what? You never know who you're influencing that maybe you can slip them some mashed cauliflower instead of mashed potatoes, and then they become a big fan. That's how it works. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching Jimmy Rants. Head on over to jimmyrants.com. And uh, if you're here on Instagram Live, uh, live with me here on Instagram Live, thanks for being here. If you're watching on the replay, thanks for watching. Uh, and then go watch them at jimmyrants.com on YouTube where we're housing those. And we've got a nice little set of videos already now at jimmyrants.com on YouTube. And coming soon, we're going to have highlights from the Jimmy Rants episodes that will be on uh, an, a, a podcast. So stay tuned. I'll, tell, I'll let you know when that's live. And until next time, we'll see you then.